this is Chris Ranwell from Protometer. Welcome to our short video about diagnosing damp in buildings. I'm joined here today by Ross Charters from Complete Preservation. Thank you for coming and Ross is an expert in diagnosing moisture in buildings and we're going to be today looking at a few problems in the building and using the tools including moisture meters uh, to try and make an informed decision about the moisture problems that we find in this building. So what do we think about this building? Can you tell us a little bit about the construction of the building, any reported issues, what you might look for when you first walk in the building like this? So you're looking for signs of damp and perhaps anything that's been going on and what they've been reported to you. If they've seen obviously their problems they've got, what have they told you in the initial consultation, the phone call and what have you. Now this building here, uh, tell me a little bit about the building we're in today. It's a really good question because it's really important. Different buildings have different sort of problems. This building's 1930s, it's cavity construction, it's got solid floors, so we know it's going to have a damp proof course. There's reported damp problems at the base of the wall, so we need to know we're going to be looking to find that damp proof course. So we'll be looking for, you know, potential rising damp. Condensation going to be an issue in a building like this? Yes, it's a process of elimination, so you're going to be looking for any rainwater ingress, condensation issues, using the moisture meter carefully, and perhaps some salt diagnostics, and obviously what we can visually see. So it's a process of elimination to find the root cause. So the tools that we use here are really there to help make an informed opinion about the moisture problem. Yeah, exactly. It's preliminary diagnosis and these can help you like to zone into the areas of most importance. And then from there, further opening up can be done in those areas and that will help you find the root cause. Thank you. Let's get some tools out and start doing some diagnosis. Right, so with this area here, and you can see this has been plastered and painted. Interestingly enough, you've got a cement skirting board on here. So what we're going to do is find out what's been going on here and see if we can find a slate damp proof course. Now, wallpaper has been previously been peeling off. There's a few high moisture meter readings, and we're going to go through now profiling, get this off and try and find the slate damp proof course. Right, so today we are using the Protometer Survey Master. What's great about this, you've got pin mode and non-invasive mode. So you can actually do quite a lot of investigation without making such a mess. If this was a timber skirting board, putting it in pin mode and actually getting some readings off there, it's a good idea of what's going on, whether there's some moisture there. Now, it depends obviously if there's any contamination there and also the contact of the wall depending on the readings. So when we're using pin mode, as you can see, you're just going across the wall. And as you're going up the wall, the readings are dropping off. We can also go to non-invasive mode, and you've got the same thing going on there. Higher readings at the base of the wall, dropping off as you go up. Now, if this is a bridge damp proof course, which we suspect, and there's been moisture rising from the ground, there could be salt contamination. And because of the higher readings there, they can make the damp meter where the salts are conductive to give a higher reading than you would expect from moisture alone. So as suspected, we've removed the skirting board. And what we can actually find here is a slate damp proof course. So that is basically being bridged by the solid floor. You would expect the damp proof course ideally to be about this height. And that is essentially just causing a little bit of moisture to rise and potentially leave some salts in the plaster, giving us the high readings. So here we have the Protometer Hygromaster. And if you're using one of these pieces of equipment, it's really important to make sure it reaches equilibrium. So if you're bringing it in from a cold environment, make sure everything's stable. So when you're looking for condensation issues, if you'd normally put your hand on the wall, it should be perhaps wet or at least damp and you'd be able to see it. But we still need to prove if this is a condensation issue or if it isn't. So by taking the temperature, humidity and the dew point and the surface temperature of the wall, we can see if the wall's at dew point. If it's at dew point, condensation is occurring. Please remember, this is a snapshot in time. So we need to measure the temperature, humidity and dew point and surface temperature. Fortunately, the Protometer Hygromaster does all this for you. So we've just done the calculations with the Hygromaster and we're plus five degrees above dew point. So we know at this time, condensation is not occurring on that wall. 
So we're going to use the Survey Master now, and we knew where we were getting some high readings. Where you're getting your highest readings is probably where you could have some salt contamination. So we're going to take a bit of that plaster off from there, we're going to get a level teaspoonful, and we're going to test it for nitrates and chlorides. So we've just done the salt tests, and here is the chloride test, and you can see it's yellow. If it was brown, there'd be no chlorides present. As you can see here clearly, it's yellow, and that is chloride present. So here we have done the nitrate test here. So if there was no nitrates present, it would be yellow. If there was some traces, it would be brown, and red is significant, just like that. So now we know these readings on the wall are related as well to the salt test. And when you're getting nitrates and chlorides like that, that's typically what you'd get from what we call rising damp symptoms coming up from the wall because of the bridge DPC at that sort of height. So we've done the nitrate and chloride test there. And as you can see, this was removed from the wall there. And this is basically confirming the original diagnosis we thought this moisture is coming from the ground because of the bridge damp proof course. Another practical tip using the Survey Master, you can actually use the pin mode through carpets. And as you can see there, we're getting a very high reading. So something's going on which requires further investigation. So we've now actually pulled back the carpet and we've revealed a vinyl floor. We're very fortunate because this property is being renovated, we can use pin mode. And as you can see, you're getting a high reading again. But if you haven't got that benefit, the beauty of the Survey Master is this dual function, pin and non-invasive. So if you couldn't put the pins through, you could stick it into non-invasive mode and you could measure through the floor. Again, we're getting high readings. This needs further investigation to find out why these readings are on the high side. Right, so we've now pulled back the vinyl floor. As you can see, there's lots of staining, indicative of moisture issues. And you can see rust marks in this pattern. And that is where the nails have been put through the floorboard into a batten. So that's that type of solid floor construction. And as you can see here, we're getting high readings. So again, preliminary diagnosis through the floor coverings has told us there's a problem here and further investigation is needed to find the root cause. Hey, well, Ross, that was really interesting to see how you use the tools to try and make a diagnosis of the moisture problem in this building. Tell me, what's your key takeaways from here? So it's really important to use professional surveying equipment. So in this video, we've used the Survey Master and Hygromaster. So it is a case of elimination. And we've eliminated condensation using the Hygromaster. And we've used the Protometer Survey Master as an investigative tool for preliminary evidence. And it basically showed us where to look and where to investigate. Further op opening up revealed a bridge slate damp, damp proof course and nitrates and chloride present, which is predominantly you'd find from rising damp. Well, that's really interesting. 
Well, thank you everybody for watching our short video. For more information, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.